truth is, in life, no matter what you got going on, everybody's looking to move on to something else. Terry was looking for a guy who could give her the one thing she wanted, something to hit. My wife, Jen, and her blind friend, Dana, were looking to convert a tenement building into an urban bed and breakfast. Somehow, they got a bank loan. And finding a tenement on the south side of Chicago, that wasn't a problem. It's so charming, an infusion of cash and a little TLC, and we can't lose. Do I smell something burning? You know, just the heat of a thousand great ideas coming out of my head. And I'm thinking those are gunshots. That one, I can't let you go. One of my customers was looking to get paid by hitting me with a bullshit lawsuit. And the lawyer pushing the case, Leah Robinson Jr., was looking to get even with me because she thought I'd done her wrong. Calvin Palmer took my man. To a video arcade when we were kids where he had a religious experience and quit dating girls. But Leah was real bad about finishing thoughts. And I found out my pops had a secret second family. And the half-sister I never knew I had was looking to connect with me. I just want to get to know who our father really was. With you. With my brother. I think you need to head out. And me, I was just looking to catch a break. These magazines are all old. They're messing with Petey's dementia. What? They can't from Sanford son. When Red Fox hear about this, it'll kill it. Get Petey something to read. What happened to your hands? Oh, uh, I must have banged it on something. Why don't I come over later and give him a proper rub down? You know where my tongue. <laughs> My new guy, James, will be coming by later, and I'm pretty sure he'll be packing a ton. James Ricky, our drug counselor. I thought you hated him. He's not that bad once you get to beat him. Meet him. Meet him. Meet. M is in meat, not B is in bag fist. Where the hell you been? But the shop is falling apart. Magazines is old, the air conditioning ain't working, and the bathroom is out of toilet paper. I had to use coffee filters to finish. Oh, by the way, you out of coffee filters. Well, ever since I got hit with this lawsuit, I've been having trouble with my vendors. They've been a little weird about giving me credit. Credit? I'm giving you some credit. Oh, <laughs> no, come on now. I'm sure there's some reasonable way we can work this. Come and get your credit lawsuit, boy. And the lawyer that's suing you, I heard you took her man to a video arcade where he had a religious experience and left her. Damn, that girl needs to learn how to finish a thought. I've never known a few vendors to give you any concern. Well, what's the real problem, son? All right, this is serious, and it's, it's not that pleasant, but you ought to hear it from me before the rumors get started. I found out my pops had a whole other family on the side. He was married to a white woman, same time he was married to my mom. Oh, <laughs> pops was a two-timing dog, and, and y'all okay with that? Yeah. Yo, can I get this? Go ahead, Ramadan. You usually the quiet, brother. Won't you uh, get things going? Man, I don't know what you're tripping for, dog. You got two families, man. I ain't even got one, man. My pops ran off when I was nine, and my mom died when I was 15. Family, family, bro. It don't matter. You know, I was I was straight up kill a motherfucker. I would pop a bitch right in his head so I can give me some family, so I can sit around doing family shit, eating steaming bowls of hot gazpacho or whatever. I don't know too many families that sit around eating bowls of gazpacho, and, and gazpacho is a cold soup. I just told you I ain't had no motherfucking family. How the fuck I'm supposed to know that? Well, I, I, I certainly can't forgive infidelity, but at the very worst, your father was doing what white men of power have been doing to subordinate black women for centuries, turning them into objects of sexual gratification. From Thomas Jefferson through to strong white rights Thurman, yeah. sexual integration has been a hidden but real part of even the most bigoted sectors of white America. The man was married, the man was married. Your father may have committed a sin, but he also broke a taboo. So Pops was a sexual civil rights activist? He was sticking it to the man by sticking it to his woman. Penetrating white society with his big black Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. shit. I don't believe the nonsense the man is accusing OJ of. Maybe the rest of the shop was okay with my Pops catting around, but I knew I could count on my real family to back me on sending my half-sister walking. I think you made a mistake. Good luck with that. You ought to go meet your other family. Look, we've got enough dysfunction around here without me fertilizing the family tree with a little bit more of their manure. Calvin just can't deal, that's all. I talked to Dad's other family, spent time around them, and I am happy, healthy, and fine. Hasn't affected me. Or maybe you're so emotionally damaged by all this, you can't tell that you're affected. <laughs> no, because that would mean I'm messed up, and I know I'm not messed up. Unless you're so messed up, you just don't know that you're messed up. Stop freaking me out, man. Uh, Calvin, listen, I've withheld a lot of things in life to make you a strong black man. There will be no weak black men in this family. Everybody, just calm the hell down. It's gonna be cool. 
for the most part. Now, Calvin, you're strong enough to meet your other family and see the mistakes of weakness that your father made and learn from them. And you can do it knowing that your family is here waiting for you and we love you. Mama. What? Oh, me. And get your girly tears all over my freshly dry clean blouse. Yeah, you are messed up. Move, child, move. Uh, excuse me, sir. Sir, do you, uh, do you work here? Is that a yes or a no? It's a what? As in what do you want? Well, see, sir, we noticed someone here had put trash in the wrong bags. These here, they're for regular trash. The blue ones, they're for recycled ones. Word? Well, which one do I put my indifference? Because right now I'm looking to dump a whole heap of I don't give a fuck. Are you, are you mocking us? Mock? Oh, no, no. If I wanted to mock you, I just tell you that stinking like coffee grounds and day-old diapers is particularly refreshing first thing in the morning. Now, why don't you take your GED educated, minimum wage earning asses? Piss off. Uh, gentlemen, Veronica Farright, Jimmy James's campaign manager, and what he meant to say was thank you. Thank you for your service and thank you for your support over Nicholas Kane for Alderman. Thank you. Jim, these are city employees. Do you understand that you are running for Alderman? So after I win the election, yes. I can just pink slip that mm. ass. Now I got incentive. No. Asshole. <laughs> wow, it just gets better. This is a rat hole. But might need a little bit of work. Not bullshit the blind. I smell rodent excrement. This is a fucking rat hole. Darn it, Dana. Knock off the bad attitude. I never heard you almost swear before. Well, you're killing my sunshine. Yes, the building needs work, but we can do it. Don't let your metaphorical vision be limited by your sense of smell. You know, this is about keeping urban dollars in the city where they belong. You and I are about to revolutionize the hospitality industry. I'm seeing a marble staircase, a back rack crystal chandelier, a piano, and tapestries, if you want. I want some huge fucking tapestries. And we need a fucking bar. I hate a and b without a bar. But we don't have a liquor license. They're selling heroin 24-7 across the street. You think they got a license? Good point. Oh, I'm so excited. How do we get started? Don't ask me. You're the one with a degree in hotel science. Well, actually, it's not a degree. It's a certificate. And actually, it's not hotel science. It's in hotel management. Then we're not actually managing a hotel. We're trying to start a bed and breakfast. So I'm kind of at a loss. We are fucked. And that better be you nibbling on my toe. <gasps> what? Well, if it isn't the man who ruined my sex life before it even got started, Calvin Palmer took my man. To a video arcade. Nah, fuck it. Everybody know the thought's not finished. I don't know why you're so upset over whatever happened however many years ago. Uh, you must have had many men since then. You are a very attractive lady. Yes, I am. But because of the actions of Calvin Palmer, I was so traumatized I haven't been with a man. Damn. A virgin. I couldn't want to have sex with her more if I actually liked her. You know what that is, young lady? It's a law dictionary. Obviously, you're going to use that to intimidate me with your legal acumen. I'm going to use it to whoop your behind. One good whooping, Calvin, and you can kiss your legal troubles goodbye. Is this your strategy, Calvin? To have the judge declare a mistrial by having your lawyer pretend to be incompetent? It's less pretending than you think, so it's a pretty good strategy. This is our whole case. Expert testimony, evidence, depositions, it's all there. Your next attorney will see that it's airtight. When she does, I hope you'll be smart and consider our very fair, though still excruciatingly painful, settlement offer. Settlement? I think I can speak for my client when I say we're willing to cave at the first number you throw out. What the hell we are? I'm working magic here, Calvin. Don't blow it for us. One million dollars. Do you have a cash discount? Yeah, I'm gonna get me a houseboat. You hear that? That's the sound of your ball being squeezed in a vice. Give me that check, Calvin. Or I'll pop the other one. Bye now. <laughs> well, we just tore her apart, didn't we? Yep. Except for that million dollars that I don't have. You kicked ass. You don't see the beauty of this. All we have to do is sue somebody else for a million and a half dollars. You pay this chick off and you make a profit. Now, who do you want to sue? How about I sue you? I don't think I could take that case. It'd be a conflict of interest. 
<laughs> That's right, you dry land living motherfuckers. You are looking at a houseboat owner. Yeah, <laughs> gonna get mirrors on the floor, gold toilets, and not them crappy used ones MC Hammer's trying to sell. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I just want to say that I'm sorry for all the drama that you've been through. Except for being cold and heartless, which I'm sure is just your version of being loyally. You seem real sweet and virginal. Could I give you a holler sometime? A young white guy who cuts hair for a living. <laughs> it's not like we have that much in common, sweetie. I think it would piss Calvin off if he knew that I was dating a girl who's committed herself to wrecking his life. Call me. She is trying to wreck Calvin. You're actually gonna go out with her? Of course I'm gonna go out with her. She's a virgin. That's like asking me if I wanna drive a new car. The minute I ride her off the lot, she'd appreciate 30%. You just compared a woman to a car. To a new car. Don't act like I don't have any class. Meanwhile, officially being in business, Jen and Dana were dealing with their first minor business issue. Jen, I need some cash to pay the contractor. Yeah, it's ironic you should say that, because uh, we're out of cash. We rent for our cash for four days? Three days. I probably should have said something yesterday, but I wanted to check my map. All that fucking money from the fucking bank and you ran the fuck through it? You wasted it all on a chandelier and a piano. Hey, I didn't spend all the effing money. You're the one who wanted the big effing tapestries. Ooh. Did they arrive? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, worth every penny. Hey, yo. What's going on, ladies? We're not officially open for business. And if we were legally, we have the right to refuse service to anyone. So I'd be happy not to take your future reservation right now. Yeah, why are you hating when all we're trying to do is come in here and offer you an opportunity? ba -da! Yeah! It's blank. Yeah, that's because I couldn't afford to get the real cars printed up right now. But if I could, that there, that was a big tricky and the boot hospitality industries incorporated. Yeah, see, me and Dabu, we're looking to extend our already significant profile in the hospitality business. You two are in the hospitality business? Oh, for sure. I happen to be the entertainment director at a Five Diamond Hotel. Actually, Tricky wasn't an entertainment director at a Five Diamond Hotel. Working as a security guard at the airport Ramada, Tricky often hooked guests up with illegal pay-per-view. Here you go. As many movies as you want for as long as you're staying here for 50 bucks cash. Do I get some kind of guarantee on that? Motherfucker, I just gave you access to the man's intellectual property. The only guarantee you gonna get is if you get caught, I'm gonna act like I don't know your ass. And the boot here, she's like a receptionist at the Motel 6. Actually, the boot had a consulting job in the IT department with the Four Seasons Hotel Group. Now, if you click to the next screen of your cost-benefit analysis, You'll see that the move from Ethernet to Wi-Fi is not only inevitable, it's affordable. But fear a tech job might kill her hard-earned street cred? Boo just went along with the receptionist thing. Yeah, you know, I tired talk on the phone, all that typical urban black woman activity. <laughs> I mean, shit. Yeah, and we see y'all in a difficult situation. But we might be able to hook you up with the interior accessories you need to help finish up your joint. That's if you're open to a partnership. And where are these interior accessories obtained legally? Fuck's sake, you're like the black, honest Martha Stewart. Would you get off of your positive role model high horse and stop worrying about getting over? I don't care if you stole it from Princess Di's grave. Hook us up. You know what you need? Some big tapestries. Bam! Excuse the fuck out of me! I know a capital gains tax cut really doesn't affect somebody in your tax bracket. That's the whole point. It gives you incentive to get off your otherwise lazy asses and get rich, so you won't have to pay taxes. Who's responsible for this bumping leg bone? Somebody done put their foot in these hard ones. <laughs> Was it you, Mabel? Now listen, my nasey. You mind if I drop a little hot sauce on? Don't you move, sugar. I brought my own. <laughs> he brought his own hot sauce? You did it? Hot sauce? Yes. Before noon? Hello, can you say acid reflux? Jimmy, I am seeing weaknesses in your campaign skills. You, you're not a people person. Uh, you, somebody around here is apparently on the rack. That's just ridiculous. People love me. Yeah, well, listen, don't underestimate Kane. When you debate him, turn up the charm. Here, the lawful. I do not support terrorism. Oh, God. Dear me, listen, you don't understand. You're coming off like a stiff, conservative black, as opposed to a warm, progressive, humorous black. Like, uh, Barack Obama. Bar Obama? Yes. Black? Yes. Fake-ass wannabe Africans mulatto. Oh, 
Fuck, if he was any paler, you could hold him up to the light and see his kidneys. Shit, oh. Well, 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 Calvin. As wrong as you are, you somehow managed to live right. Malcolm dropped the lawsuit. <laughs> he dropped the suit? So it's over? It's only over in the sense that I can't take you to civil court, present evidence, or have a judgment rendered against you that would cost you millions. Unfortunately, that's the only over I care about. You will learn to fear me, Calvin Palmer. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. It's a little melodramatic. Just wait until you see what happens when I get a lot melodramatic. Wow. I think I just got lucky. Lucky, man. What you talking about lucky, man? I kicked that bitch Malcolm's ass. You beat up Malcolm? That's why he dropped the suit? What happened? Went to talk to him, kicked his ass. And there were no middle steps? You go to talk to him, he says something about your mama, you kick his ass. You go to talk to him, he pulls out a gun, you kick nah, his ass. Oh man, I went, I kicked, all right? I did that shit for you, Kyle. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been, been real cool to me since I've been out of prison. So I was just trying to show y'all motherfuckers I was thankful and shit. Ramadan, you, you do understand that you can go back to prison for nah, this? Nah, man, you understand, dog. You know what I'm saying? This is how much you and all your little hair cutting place mean to me, man. It ain't right somebody trying to take what you got. So if I got to break an arm, a leg, you know what I'm saying, crack a few ribs, or hit a nigga in his head so hard his eye damn near pop out the socket so you can keep what's yours, then fuck it, man. That's the way it is. That's beautiful. <laughs> Romadol, come on. You, you can't go around hurting people just to get man, your Man, I, I ain't really even hurt the nigga for real. All I did was kick his ass. Damn, man, are you insane? I got hemorrhoids. Calvin, I, I know, you know what I'm saying, what I did was kind of fucked up. Kind of fucked up? Kind of kind of illegal? But dog, you, you, you like family, man. Family always do for family. I'll tell you something. When you start getting some semi-deep, life-altering science from a convicted felon who may or may not have killed somebody, it's time to start taking a look at your life. Or at least your relationship with your family. Your entire family. Even if part of that family belonged to some poor white trash hoe. Or not. Calvin, I want you to meet my mother, your father's other wife, Ellie Palmer. Hey, uh, really nice to meet you, Mrs. Palmer. You better call me Mommy. <laughs> Get over here and give Mommy a great big hug. <laughs> oh, mm, that feels good. Doesn't it feel good holding Mommy? Tell Mommy it feels good. Uh, but you know what, Miss Palmer? I'm gonna have to break this off, step back, and think about being thrown off a motorcycle and or being trapped in a burning building or other non-sexual things. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Just like your father. Oh, I miss him. Come over here and give mommy a great big hug again. Come on. <laughs> Whole building uh -huh. just going up in flames. How you doing today, drug boy? Smoking any crack today, you mainlining freak? I already went through your drug program. I'm clean. I don't need any tough love. That wasn't no tough love. That was my standard James Ricky Greek. What's up with your eye? Well, if you must know, this is the badge of tough love that I share with Terry Jones. She beats the shit out of you? Only if I bake. And if I lick her toes, she'll use kitchen utensils on me. Oh. Sometimes. Oh. What? And there I was with my other family, hanging out, having a good time. As much as I wanted to hate them, I was starting to realize that this family was just about perfect. You guys are really making me feel welcome. Uh, I gotta tell you, I had mixed emotions coming in. Mixed? Is that some kind of insult? Is being mixed bad? Although it was pretty clear, on the brother front, it was going to be a wash. You have to forgive Kyle. He's a little sensitive about being mixed. What I am is an activist for Caucasian rights. We live in a full-breed, dominated society that perceives anything mixed to be wrong. Things should be either black or white. If they slip into a gray area, they're bad. Don't send anybody mixed signals. Don't have half a heart. Don't blend into the background. Don't drive a hybrid car. Driving a hybrid car is a good thing but look how long it's taken for society to accept them. When are people going to set aside their multi-ethnic bias? All this because I said mixed? Is it possible that I can get a list of words that set you off so I know what to avoid? <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, your laugh reminds me so much of your father. Thank you, Miss Palmer. Call me mommy. Miss Palmer, uh, you know, when I first heard that my dad was cheating on my mom with some home wrecker across town, I felt real betrayed. But seeing you and feeling the vibe that you all put out. I mean, I kind of understand why my pops was attracted to you. Oh, beyond the obvious. I know what you must have thought. Your father wanted to be with me because of my money, my pert breasts, and the tight buttock of a young woman of color half my age. Yeah, the obvious. Well, I want you to know one thing. Your father never took a penny from me. We never even had sex until well into the relationship. 
All he wanted from me was someone he could talk to, someone who would listen to him. I'm just glad we finally connected. I hated all those years we couldn't be a family. I wanted so much to be part of your life, to share all our advantages with you. But it was obviously a delicate situation. Well, I didn't need any advantages. You know, my life's been real. Advantages like what? Oh, the usual, you know, big Christmases, expensive music lessons, and the best college education money can buy. Don't forget those Volkswagens on our 16th birthday. Uh, Talking about a coincidence, you know, my brother had a Volkswagen and I... Was that a birthday present? Uh, no, I think he bought that with his own money, but it was probably from a trust fund I set up for him. Excuse me? And now that you're part of the family, I don't see why your mother would object to you finding out about yours. This is my money. Mm -hmm. Does that say what I think it says? Got mixed emotions now. Terry, I had a talk with your new guy, James. And whatever it is you think you're doing, it's not going anywhere good. So do yourself a favor and move on to something that at least has a future. Who the fuck are you to judge me, Mr. Great White Virgin Pussy Hunter? You talk about me? That shit is weird. One Day Good with a Virgin is not weird. They made documentaries about it. Did you ever see America Pie? Or America Pie 2? Or the third one where they finally got it right? Those are not documentaries. Excuse me? If Fahrenheit 9-11 was a documentary, then American Pie was a goddamn Ken Burns special, okay? Have you and your man ever done anything normal? You ever just talk to each other or, or rent a movie? You or... are talking to me about normal? <laughs> tell you what, how about you give me a call tonight when you're done popping Psycho Lawyer Bitch's cherry and tell me all about all the very normal cuddling and conversation that follows. I'll be dying to hear all about it. Okay. That night was the first of the Jimmy James, Nicholas Kane debates. Now, when you have a liberal white guy trying to get elected with the black vote and a conservative black man running as a Republican, it really says something about American politics. Like, maybe it's time to move to Canada. Or France. I hear Iraq is getting its act together. Now, let me just close by saying, I'm going to bring the same big ball and game to the job of alderman that I brought to the office of player. I mean mayor during the turbulent 70s. Bobo couldn't bust my groove then, and he ain't gonna do it now. Your oratorical gifts have remained consistent over the years. And you might be able to talk the talk, but you really aren't saying much. While ex-Mayor Kane has served our community admirably in the past, this election is about the future. A future full of opportunity for all citizens of this war. A future I would be honored to guide you toward. Are you with me, my friends? What Jimmy James lacked in people skills, he made up for in speechifying. The cat hadn't gotten as far as he did by accident. And Jimmy actually had a shot at winning the debate. Except family has a way of messing everybody up. It's unfortunate that ex-Mayor Kane's half-baked ideas on how to improve half city baked. government. What's wrong with being half-baked? I suppose something's only good if it's fully baked? Yes. Things that are mixed are good. Look at Tiger Woods. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. You know that's a fake name. That nigga might as well call himself Hakuna Matata. What? Quickly, what you people gonna learn. You cannot trust light-skinned blacks. Speaking of mixed, Terry's emotions were all over the place. She said she wanted Isaac out of her business, but she needed to know if there was anywhere left to go with her guy, James. What's that for? Thought I could be the goalie and you play a little offense on my head. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, uh, why don't we take a break from all that? Okay. I think we need to know that our relationship is more than just beatdowns. Why, why don't we... Maybe we should just run a movie. That's a good idea. It was a good idea. Except the movie they rented was Fight Club. They might as well have rented a how-to video from the porn store. First rule of Terry's Club, never talk about Terry's Club. And while Terry happily found herself back at square one, Isaac was finding himself in virgin territory. Oh, yeah. Sort of. I know you've never done this before, so I'm gonna walk you through it. First, we got foreplay. Okay? This is my foreplay. Uh, Face down, ass up in the air, and don't move until I tell you. Are you sure you're a virgin? Whatever gave you that idea? You said you ain't been with a man. Right, since I started working on Malcolm's case. Damn, could you learn to finish the... Oh, hell, doesn't matter, does it? Ass up, right? Would you mind singing Flashdance? <laughs> oh, yeah. Whose pussy is this? 
I've been sitting on $50,000 since I was 16, and you knew the whole time? Baby, I was trying to be both a mother and a father. But now, I had to make decisions, sometimes right, sometimes wrong, but always for the good of my children. I worried about what kind of man you'd become with all that money. It's not about the money. I, I didn't take the money. I don't want it. What I want is a mother who has a little compassion. And I'd take a better brother, but clearly that gene is damaged. Look, I swore to God that I would raise my boy to be a man. And look at you. A husband that's faithful to his wife, a good father, and somebody the people around here can look up to. Now, I sent you to that other family so that you could see that I've done my best, raising two boys with a father that didn't even know how to be a man. Well, you did do your best, and I love you for that. Thank you. But maybe you tried so hard at being a father, you forgot to be a mother. Terry, hey. You told me to call after I was done popping psycho lawyer bitches, Terry. What's facetious mean? Hello? Hello? It had been a day to give a brother whiplash. First, I'm heading for the poorhouse. Then I'm off the hook. Then I find out that a whole other life had passed me right by because one of my moms thought she was doing me a favor. And my vendors weren't making life any easier. When the hell was I going to catch a break? Oh, my God. Marvin Gaye's been shot. His poor dad. When he finds out, it'll break his heart. Hey, Ramadan, take a walk with me. Told you before, no credit. I don't get cash, you don't get shit. You don't like the way I do business? Take your not getting shit ass somewhere else. Yo, hold this me, child. I don't want nobody to take my shit when they put me back in prison for whooping some more ass. Credit, <laughs> credit. I, I, I got your credit. You got your credit? Oh, your credit's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. How's that gazpacho, Ramadan? It's damn good and damn cold, too. <laughs> It's like the family I always wanted. And I had to kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm serious. I would have fucked the motherfucker up for some family. Jen, uh, you might want to ice up some more of that gazpacho. Yeah, okay. Want some uh, cilantro, Ramadan? No, I hate that shit. Yeah, fuck cilantro. <laughs>